guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do car truck SUV reviews on YouTube, and today we are in the new 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan, courtesy of Hanover Volkswagen in Hanover, PA. And so there are actually plenty of changes for the 2020 model year, including the most obvious. Let me just get it out of the way. When it comes to the warranty, that previous six year 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty available in 2019 is now gone and replaced with a four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. But what Volkswagen did to kind of compensate for that transition was they included two years of regularly scheduled maintenance to kind of make up for that lack of America's best warranty now. So they did have it there for a second. But nonetheless, as I said, there are plenty of changes for the 2020 Tiguan and I am excited to be going over them for you guys today along with everything else of course so what do you say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing it said there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 take one first one being the s starting at twenty four thousand nine hundred and forty five dollars se for twenty seven thousand ninety five dollars SER line black for $30,295, SEL for $32,245, and lastly, the SEL premium R line with all wheel drive, the one we have today, starting at $38,795. And so, with all of those trim levels, with the exception of the last one, the one we have today, that was for the front wheel drive configuration. You can add all wheel drive to any of those, and to do that, simply add $1,300 to any of those prices. And so, but regardless of trim level that you go with though, the power plant on the Tiguan will be the same. Powering this little beast is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 184 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 221 pound feet of torque available at 4,300 RPM. Power sent to front wheels or all wheels through Volkswagen's four motion all wheel drive system. And power sent to the ground through an eight speed automatic with zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 8.2 seconds for the front wheel drive, 9.1 seconds for the all wheel drive configuration. And then when it comes to MPG numbers, 22 in the city, 29 highway for the front wheel drive, 20 in the city, 27 on the highway for the all wheel drive. And so but then before we do any kind of fun accelerations in the new 2020 Tiguan, I did want to mention there are some driving modes that come standard on this one. And those driving modes can be accessed through the circular dial located just behind the shifter there. To actually access the on-road driving modes, because there are off-road driving modes, and I'll touch on those in a second here. The on-road driving mode button is going to be the one labeled mode in the center of the circular dial. So if you press that down, you can then adjust between eco, normal, and sport. And so essentially what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the shift points, throttle response, and actually the steering sensitivity as well. So if you're emerging onto the highway, sport driving mode is definitely gonna be more beneficial. It's gonna hold the RPMs at a much higher level, giving you more power on demand, for example. But I did wanna mention the off-road driving driving modes to access them simply turn the dial to the left or to the right and they are going to include snow which is very beneficial here in Pennsylvania of course then there is normal there is off-road and off-road custom allowing you to kind of personalize it for your own particular terrain really but really having all of those driving modes are certainly beneficial a lot of SUVs will give you the eco normal and sport driving modes for on-road but they will give you the off-road stuff so I do like the Volkswagen included that on the Tiguan but I do think Think you guys know what we have to do next here i did want to do a quick little acceleration here and so i do have it in sport driving mode so what do you guys say let's uh let's find a straightaway with no traffic here and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2020 volkswagen tiguan here up to speed right a little bit of a rolling start but there we go Yeah, that's all right. You're not gonna have any issues emerging onto the highway. It's not the quickest thing in the world because, you know, it is a turbocharged four cylinder with under 200 horsepower, but it's certainly gonna do just fine on the highway or anything like that. So you're good there. So to go along with that acceleration though, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 13.4 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.8 inch solid rear discs. As far as the braking feel goes, it is great. It is not soft. There is no brake pedal delay 
uh, it is immediately bringing you to a stop. So that is definitely on point as we come up to a red light right here. So thank you Volkswagen, but touching on suspension and handling up front, you will get a strut type front suspension with the stabilizer bar. In the back, multi-link rear suspension, once again with the stabilizer bar. As far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine for me. Definitely no complaints from me today. As far as steering feel goes, it's kind of a mixed bag for me. The weight itself of the steering wheel is definitely nice, especially in that sport driving mode. It does have a weightier feel to it, so better helps point you in the direction that you want to go. But on the flip side, the grips, the 10 and 2 grips on this, Volkswagen always does this. I wish they had a little thicker grips with their steering wheels. It's just kind of wimpy. And that might be all right for some people, but having driven so many cars, I feel more in control and it feels better if the grips are a little thicker, at least in those 10 and 2 positions. Like BMW is my favorite. They have the thickest grips. But nonetheless, that's my only complaint when it comes to steering feel. The weight itself is perfectly fine. As far as cabin noise goes, that is absolutely excellent. Not a whole lot of exterior noise is coming into the cabin today. So that is most definitely a plus. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Another thing I like about the visibility is we have a frameless rear view mirror. Always think that looks so high end. It's so classy. I definitely am a huge fan of the frameless rear view mirrors, but headrests don't protrude up too much. You're not going to have any issues with visibility there. Didn't want to mention though, a new feature for the 2020 Tiguan being rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on the SEL trim level. So that essentially is going to be when the Tiguan starts detecting any kind of rainfall or mist, it will turn on the windshield wipers automatically, kind of like automatic headlights. So it's one less thing you have to worry about. It's kind of a safety feature, better helps you keep your eyes on the road and enjoy the drive a little bit more. So that's always a plus as well. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. All right, you guys, here she is, the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Premium R-Line. You got the top trim level, looks so good, and it is gonna distinguish itself a little bit, comparatively speaking to the other trim levels as well. So let's go ahead and start up front. I'll go over that for you guys. Halogen headlights coming standard on the S, S, E, SER line and SEL. All of those trims coming with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, the headlights will turn on automatically for you. Of course, you don't have to worry about that. Fog lights down below for the SER line and SEL trims. LED headlights coming standard with the SEL Premium that you are looking at right now. And so not only will you get LED headlights, but of course the headlight housings will differ slightly as well. So what you are currently looking at right now is going to look a little bit different on all other trim levels actually. So our line is actually going to add a body colored front lip. You will get a matte black front lip for all other trim levels down below there. Our line black adds black accents as expected on that front grill and front bumper. and of course, there's black accents continue all over this thing. <laughs> but anyways, let's just go ahead and make our way to the side of the Tiguan now. Up top, you will find roof rails for all trim levels across the board. Once again, rear privacy glass, all trim levels, body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors. A lot of times the heated part of the side mirrors don't come standard, but it actually does for all trims on the Tiguan. And you will find, of course, integrated turn signals within them as well. Taking a look down at the wheel setup, 17 inch alloy wheels for the S and SE. 19 inch alloy wheels for the SEL and 20 inch alloy wheels for either of the R-Line trim levels. And that of course is what you're looking at right now. And in addition to that, you will find R-Line badging within the front fender there. You guys can see that as well. And I should mention also R-Line side skirts, body colored side skirts at that. So more aggressive appearance on the side overall with any of the R-Line trims. But let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. Gloss black shark fin antenna up top, just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, rear window wiper, all of that standard across the board. LED tail lights also coming standard across the board. That's definitely very nice. And just below it all, of course, you guys know what we have to do next. You do have dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So here it is, you guys. Here is the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan exhaust clip. And 
right, so but now since we are around back, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, there is a button on the key fob, that is one way. There is also a button on the driver's side door, that is yet another way to go about opening it up. It will be a power lift gate if you go with the SEL trim level, and if you go with the SEL premium that we have today, you will find a hands-free lift gate, meaning just simply walk up to the Tiguan, and it is going to open up for you. So that's always convenient, but. And so here's the fun part about the Tiguan. You can actually get it in either a two-row or three-row configuration. Configuration. And so the two row configuration is going to come standard. However, the three row configuration is going to be optional on the all wheel drive models only. So if you go front wheel drive, two row is your only option. If you go all wheel drive, you can get it with a third row if you wanted it. But cargo capacity is actually going to differ slightly depending on which setup that you go with. Behind that third row, if you went with that configuration, you will find 12 cubic feet. So not a ton of space. But then again, the Tiguan isn't as big as, let's say, the Atlas. So that is pretty much as expected. Expected. Behind the second row with the two row setup, you will find 37.6 cubic feet, a little less than that if you go with a three row setup. And behind that first row, either way, 73.5 cubic feet. So a decent amount of space there. Do want to also mention in that cargo area, you can find cargo area tie down hooks, 12 volt power outlet, and there is a little bit of in floor storage in there as well. And so make your way to third row legroom if you were to go with that configuration. That comes in at 27.9 inches. So really, that's going to be better left for small children, perhaps. Second row comes in at 38.7 inches. That is a good bit. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Do want to mention rear ventilation coming standard for SE trim level and up. That's always a plus. And there is a rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard as well. Another cool thing I found in the back seats as well, there is uh, LED roof lighting or LED interior lighting, I should say. So that is definitely a plus too. But make our way to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seats coming with the S, leatherette seating coming with the SE, SER line and SEL trims. And with those trim levels, you will also find a 10-way power adjustable driver seat with power lumbar and heated front seats as well. Then if you were to jump up to the current trim that we have today, the SEL Premium, you will find a full leather seating configuration there. Then when it comes to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leatherette wrapped for the SE and SEL trim levels. If you want a leather wrapped steering wheel, that is with the SEL Premium once again. And you can get a heated steering wheel if you were to go with one of the SEL trim levels. Then make your way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Volkswagen logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and that little circular times two button, that is going to be your remote start available for the SEL trim levels or standard for the SEL trim levels, I should say. Push button start though is gonna come standard on the SE trim level and up. And so I am just gonna put my phone on the brake here and press that engine start button, which is located kind of just in front of the shifter to the left there. And so once started up, I know everyone's going to ask, how do you get that digital gauge cluster? Cause it doesn't come standard on all trim levels. You can get that with either of the SEL trim levels. So of course that is what you're currently looking at right now. And it looks absolutely wonderful. So tachometer is gonna be on your left. Speedometer is on your right. And if anyone's familiar with Audi's digital cockpit, it is essentially pretty darn close to that. So you can control what is on that digital screen by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there. You of course can go back and forth, but you can also press the view button, which is either going to make the gauge setup display more pronounced or less pronounced if you wanted to see something else up there. So it is really an absolutely wonderful setup. I love it in Audi and I love it actually in Volkswagen as well. So definitely would recommend that digital gauge cluster. It's absolutely amazing. But anyways, now touching on overall interior quality, you can find a panoramic sunroof for the SE R-Line trim level and up. It is gonna be optional on the SE, so you can get it that way too. Wireless phone charger with the SE trim level and up with that dual zone climate control as well ambient lighting coming standard for the SEL premium that we have today. That's always a plus. And there is actually a little cargo tray just on top, kind of to the right of the gauges here with a rubberized bottom. So you could always put some stuff in there. Won't slide around since you have the rubberized bottom. There are home link controls for up to three different garage doors found just below our frameless rear view mirror. I do like the carbon fiber look trim that comes on the doors and just above the passenger side glove box. Although it's not authentic carbon fiber, it definitely looks good there. 
Just in front of the shifter, you have two USB charging ports, an auxiliary port, and a 12 volt power outlet. And of course, just behind the shifter, a little tray area, not too much, but then you got dual cup holders. And of course, if you open up the center armrest, you got a little bit of storage room there as well. But overall, very nice interior quality. I like the contrast between the light and dark leather on the doors. I kind of wish they brought some of that light leather up onto the dash as well that would have been pretty cool looking but nonetheless we have the very top trim level and when it comes to interior quality it is just fine of course but let's now go ahead and take a look at the tech display front and center 6.5 inch color touchscreen display will come with the s trim level however for the se trim level and up basically all other trim levels you will get currently what you are looking at right now which is an 8 inch color touchscreen display and so either way though you get bluetooth and audio streaming either way though even with the smaller display display screen you still get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay that is a huge plus a lot of times you don't get that with the bottom trim level of other vehicles out there but you do with the Tiguan factory navigation system coming with the SEL trims you of course can check out some of your average mileage per gallon you can check out local traffic if you wanted to and of course your radio information by the way when it comes to the sound system you will get six speakers for the S SE trims and SEL however for one trim level being the SEL Premium, you will find a nine speaker Fender sound system with 400 watts. And you guys know that is what we have today. So we have to turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Sound system is amazing, you guys. Sounds just as good as my Fender Squire from back in the day. So, absolutely ton of bass, crystal clear. Maybe it was the song, but I don't think it was. That sound system was brutally amazing if that's the thing that was awesome last thing i wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display is when you do put the tiguan in reverse for all trim levels you will find a rear view camera for the sel premium you will find a 360 degree bird's eye view camera so you can see what is all around you which is always is going to lead us into safety so first thing I wanted to mention with the tiguan most importantly this is an iihs top safety pick plus if configured with LED headlights. They always do that. It has to have LED headlights to be a top safety pick these days. Front side and side curtain airbags will come standard. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also back there, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. These are all pretty basic safety features. But touching on some of the good stuff, also standard for all trim levels, forward collision warning with autonomous emergency braking. That's brilliant. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. Also awesome. Pedestrian pedestrian monitoring system that blind spot monitor by the way that usually doesn't come standard on all trim levels with other manufacturers but it does on the Tiguan that's always a plus and the SEL trims are going to add in addition to that adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist and let me tell you that lane keep assist system it's brilliant it's actually one of the best I always test them out if I have a vehicle equipped with them I know Hyundai's are pretty good some manufacturers like let's say Mazda aren't the best with that lane keep assist system but in this Volkswagen Tiguan it did brilliant it kept turning for me with my hands off of the steering wheel to the point where it says grab the steering wheel that is how good it did it was absolutely amazing it's almost like you didn't even need a driver but well done Volkswagen for that lane keep assist system but that about rounds out this review you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay cold